What up, though? One Pride Nation. We back. Motor City Sports Talk. We talking some Detroit Lions. Y'all know what it is. We about to get into the real draft talk right after the combine. We're going to cover the combine a little bit, man. I'm switching up my work hours. Um, so, uh, content going to be a little bit up and down as far as the times. But uh, I'm going to try to keep it as, you know, normal normal as I can. But uh, I'm going to try to feed the morning crew, feed the afternoon crew, and the late night crew as much as I can. But um, free agent spotlight, we're still on that right now. It's Deion Lewis, the running back of the New England Patriots. And uh, my man that wanted the LeGarrette Blunt, man, I got that coming up for you, man. I'm going to get to the LeGarrette Blunt free agent spotlight. Don't forget. I mean, I'm not going to forget. I ain't forgot about you. Um, I know you asked for that. I'm, I'm going to give it to him. But um, we're talking about Deion Lewis today. Um, the shifty, um, quick, fast, you know, durable. <laughs> Seem to have a little bit more power than you think. Running back from New England Patriots. You know how New England do. They use running backs, and then when they value go up, or they use player, and they value get too high for for their price tag in their situation. New England, they let them go. Um, I like Deion Lewis. Um, I think he's a very, very more. I think he's very balanced back. I, I think he get the rap for being uh, more of a third down type of back, but he 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 been a dog in them trenches, man. And he got the the, the speed to explode. He got the quickness. And he's a good, good player. He can catch the ball at the backfield. He's definitely a guy that I do like for the Detroit Lions. He's a better Amir Abdullah in every way, shape, or fashion. He's a dude that can get the tough yards. He's a dude that can break it on the outside, break it from in between the tackles. He got the long speed. He got the quickness. He got the hands. I mean, he's a he's a complete back, more than what people know. But I wouldn't rely on him with the Lions' history with, with smaller backs for him to be the number one back. He'd be one of the guys that I bring in. I bring in a Deion Lewis, and I still may. And I will draft. I still will try to get two running backs in the draft, maybe one and two veterans and one running back in the draft, and then I keep Tion Green or something like that. That's what I look for. But this guy's versatile. He probably can play some slot. He can catch it in the flat. He can run between the tackles. He can bounce on the outside. So you know, if the one, if the other veteran or the or the rookie you bring in don't don't uh you know grab the job, guess what? This guy will pick up the job and run with it. And won't look back. You know, he had a few health issues. I think a knee issue with the Patriots or whatever. You know, he was the guy that was with the Cleveland Browns. And uh, the Patriots have a knack for picking players on subpar sorry teams and making them stars. Uh, Wells Welker was on the Dolphins. Nobody knew who he was. Bill Belichick found a way to, to dominate the slot, you know, with Wells Welker. Then dominate with two tight ends, Aaron Hernandez and uh, Rob Gronkowski. He finds new innovative ways to make mediocre talent or hidden talent on other teams, some good talent. Look at Julia Edelman. He stepped in and become, became the new Wells Walker, and they haven't missed a beat. So that system, it is to be said for some. So that's why mainly I probably wouldn't trust Deion Lewis and hand him the keys to the to the running back car alliance right now, but I would definitely let him compete. And if he wins, he wins it. And then I have other guys backing it up. I still like Carlos Hyde, you know, as well. If you can bring both of them in, both probably won't break the bank either. You'd probably be good with riding the, the, the one-two punch of high and uh, Deion Lewis, but I still want to bring a rookie in. I, I, I caught up on Rashad Penny, and definitely that spotlight is coming. That dude is phenomenal. I mean, he returns kicks. He's strong. He's powerful. He's fast. He breaks arm tackles. He breaks <laughs> full tackles, and he's a beast as well, man. It's a lot of good running backs again this year. Yes, we missed out on, uh, you know, Alvin Kamara, Dalvin Cook. We missed out on... Uh, um, a lot of different guys in the running game this year, man, you know, but, um, this year, Bob Quinn got a chance to make it up. It's a, it's a, a lot of running back, backs, a plethora of running backs in the free agency. It's a plethora of running backs in the draft. Uh, and let's see if he can uh, evaluate running back talent. They're already raking, working on a blueprint and schematics to make the run game better. Um, Deion Lewis, I'm high on him. It's a guy I like to see him bring in. He's another value guy. That's been a, a real key word. <laughs> For this free agent spotlight, value guys. We've done a lot of value guys. Guys that might have, you know, injury problems. Guys that might be a risk off the field problems. Or may have kneeled and, and they take away from their stock value that most teams don't want. Detroit has to do something they haven't done before. They have to take chances. Not only in free agency, but in the draft. They have to take chances with some of these players. And I think um, the time is now. The time is now. I like Deion Lewis. I would not flinch and if it didn't work out i would just bite the bullet and say you know i was wrong with Deion lewis but i think Deion lewis is going to be an integral part um uh, to the squad man you know if he can be brung on i like carlos high those are two running backs that i like i'm off the Le'Veon bell bandwagon 
I think we can get Carlos Hyde and Deion Lewis or one of the one of the two or both and bring in a rookie right along with them. And they can rebuild the blocking scheme and the run schematics and how to run power football and how to do certain things and be creative. And then I like our chances and I like Stafford having the run game. And there's no more excuse for Matthew Stafford to be losing against 500 and above teams. You know, that excuse goes out the window. If he gets a running game, I don't want to hear it no more. But you know what it is. It's more to see sports talk. We go.